Hi, welcome to the Aromatic Pipe. Uh, I'm Steve and we'll be talking about the art and pleasure of smoking aromatic pipe tobaccos. So in the previous videos we've talked about a pipe and you've got all your stuff together that you need and now you're ready to load something in your pipe. So that's what we're going to look at today. First of all is, uh, well, what kind of tobacco are you going to choose? Uh, you know, there's various brands. Lane Q1 has, has been a, a favorite for a long time. Now, my particular favorites uh, come from the Boswell Company. Uh, Boswell, uh, Berry Cobbler, and Boswell's Piper's Pleasure or Christmas Cookie. Those are all great ones. I'm smoking Christmas Cookie today. So, the first thing you, we want to do is... When we're loading our pipe, oftentimes it's talked about as, as packing a pipe, and, and I don't even like that idea. It sounds like a, a muzzle loader, and you're putting in the, uh, uh, all of the saltpeter, and you're packing it in there, and you put your wad and everything, and that's not what we're doing. We want to keep it as loose as possible because we want to let that air come through. Again, with the English tobaccos, uh, they want to compress it a little bit to keep it lit because they need to get a fire going. That's not what we need to do with an aromatic pipe tobacco. We want to, to keep it really loose. And so what we're going to do is uh, you probably want to get a piece of paper or something underneath your pipe because what we want to do is we want to drop it in there real evenly and slowly. Don't even... You, you just want to get the gaps out so we're not I'm not actually pushing down on it at all other than just to to get some of that the air pockets out and at the top we'll just leave a little we'll leave a little mound like that and then I'm just gonna twist it a little bit and that's just to lock those leaves together on the very top so that when we light it it will light from the top. Okay, then what you can do is take your piece of paper that you got, maybe if you've creased it in the middle it makes it easier, and what you can do is then just take that extra and dump it back in to your jar or whatever. I keep my tobacco in, in a ball jar, as most people do, they'll recommend that. A, a, a ball jar comes out really handy for that. Okay, so we've got our tobacco back in there. Now we're going to take our lighter and again we're looking to to toast the tobacco. We're not trying to light the whole top. What I want to do is make a small cherry in the middle. Now in the beginning we're going to add fire to this several times. Uh, so here we go. On and off real quick. You might look at the Frank method. Uh, the only difference I would make there is you don't need to compress it like it. For an English tobacco, you want it to be compressed and springy. This, you just want it real light there. So we'll light it several times. Now, so you get a nice, can you see that smoke coming up here? That's what you want to see from an aromatic pipe tobacco. Now, what we can do is we can tamp it. Now, like I said, what we're doing is I have it angled, an angled tamp, so that what I can do is, uh, if there's any resistance at all, it's, it's mainly on the outside. I really just want to knock down the ash a little. I don't want to compress anything. I'm just knocking down ash. And 
And that's what we'll continue to do for the first third of the bowl. We'll just kind of let it go. And what we're looking to do is get the bowl warmed up a little bit. Let's see if I can get a cherry going so I can show you. I wouldn't normally do it this quickly. I don't want to get it going too hot here. And keep your fingers around the top of the bowl. That's where it'll get hot first is up here. Like this bowl is not even getting hot yet. You see how I can, I'm not having any trouble getting this thing to light and it just smokes on its own. That, that's what you want to see with an aromatic, um, especially at the top of the bowl here. If you got that air going through there well, it'll just smoke on its own. You don't have to keep puffing on it to, to keep it going. Okay. And you notice when I puff on it, when I blow out, I don't really blow out, softly blow out, but I keep the pipe in my mouth. And what happens is we're, we're pulling air past the fire and we're also pushing air past. And what that does is it keeps everything nice and loose, keeps the air flowing both ways here. Now, in the beginning stages like this, you might want to keep it in your mouth while you're tamping. The idea is there's almost no pressure on the middle whatsoever. That's where your, that's where your uh, cherry is. This pipe's not even warming up very much. You see it, it just smokes, it's fine. Uh, if it starts getting a little too warm in your mouth, what you can do is bring some air through your nose at the same time you're bringing smoke in through your mouth and get that air mixed with it. The whole trick to this thing, the, where the flavor is, is having the air mixed with the smoke. It's kind of like an internal combustion engine where it's not just it's gas, it's, it's the, the gas gets sprayed and it's mixture with oxygen, that's what makes everything work. Okay, well I'm gonna smoke this down a little bit and then uh, I'll see you in the next video. We'll talk about what to do when you get about you know a third half down and then uh, things change a little bit. All right.